When you are building a cabin in the middle of a pine forest, you can't just focus on the cabin itself. It's all about the connection between the cabin and the forest. You want the cabin to blend in with the environment and feel like a natural extension of the forest, not just some random building plopped in the middle of it. It's all about giving context to your design. Think about the landscape around your design, like the trees and rocks, and even add a little something extra like a man-made stone wall. All these elements come together to help tell a story and make your design even more impactful. So don't just focus on the cabin, but think about the environment and how we can take your project to the next level. Hi, I'm Nuno Silva, and in today's video I'll show you the process of creating this peaceful getaway in the forest with Lumion. So for this project, I knew I had to gather some real-world inspiration. Even though I had my own experiences to draw from, I wanted to ensure that I had a lot of information about how a certain type of environment works in the real world. So like with every project, I am using Pure Ref, a great tool for copying and pasting all the reference images I find online. With these references, I can see how the pine trees grow and how the floor is full of ferns and different types of vegetation, and all of these elements will help me create a believable environment. I started with this house model that I got from 3D Sky. I opened it in 3ds Max and added a plane that will serve as my base terrain. But no land is completely flat, so I added a few variations to the geometry and then added a noise modifier to give it a more natural and random look. This next step is crucial, as it will be essential in Lumion, the software I'll be using for rendering the project. I duplicated the terrain, moved it down about 2cm and set the new material. This will allow for a more rich and detailed terrain in Lumion. After importing the house with a basic terrain, the first thing I will do is add more detail to the Lumion terrain. You don't want to live with this endless horizon, which is definitely not the case in any pine forest. So I grab the terrain tool, select the raised property, increase the brush size, and begin painting some areas of my terrain higher than others. I just want to create some variation to break up that horizon line. Once the terrain is complete, it's time to switch to photo mode and set up a camera that accurately captures our vision. With the new camera angle, you can see that the endless horizon is gone, which is exactly what we want to accomplish. It's a good way to create a more realistic and natural environment, and it will make the final render look great. I will use a 24mm camera with a height of about 1.2 meters. This height is great to give some dimension to the building and its surroundings. I'll store the camera position by clicking on the icon in the bottom left corner. And now I'm going to show you one important trick you can do to save time and resources when building complex scenes with a lot of vegetation assets like this one. One of the most important aspects of this design is the pine trees. Even though Lumion has a great selection of high quality vegetation assets, I couldn't find the ones that I was looking for. I went to 3D Sky and searched for pine trees and found these. Each set has four different variations, which is perfect to create a lot of variety. Now, the easiest way to get these assets into Lumion, the right way, is by using Lime Exporter. This 3ds Max plugin exports the models with the correct settings and all the textures applied with just one click of a button. And in case you don't have 3ds Max, there's also an online exporter available. If you want to see a full tutorial about it, you can check the link in the description below. Adding all of these pine trees in Lumion may significantly reduce computer performance. That's why I came up with a nice and light solution for it. This will work for any project you are working on. I created a new empty project and loaded in all the same trees and vegetation assets that I'll be using in my cabin project. I scattered them around the scene, and then, with a camera with a focal length higher than 50mm, I took a wide render that covered all the trees. And don't forget to go to the render channels and select sky map as well. Next, I took these images to Photoshop, selected the sky with the marquee tool, and erased it from the render. You can use the color range to pick some areas that still have that blue sky to fine-tune the selection. I cropped the image just to fit the size of the trees and saved it as PNG. After looking at the image size, I created a new plane in my 3D model application with the same size. Finally, I took this plane into Lumion and loaded the trees image backdrop. This creates a beautiful background with a lot of variety and it won't cost you anything performance-wise. 
That's awesome, right? If you are looking to improve your knowledge of Lumion, I would like to invite you to check out my Lumion Render course. The course covers interior and exterior rendering, animation and various techniques to help you get the best results. The link would be in the description, feel free to check it out. If you remember, I said it was really important to add two layers of terrain. I added the first layer of pine forest ground, which I found on the Megascans website. This website offers a huge variety of surfaces to apply to your projects. I loaded all the textures into the material properties and then on the bottom layer of the terrain I set the terrain grass material. It features quite thin grass blades which works great for this scene. To adjust the grass I went to the terrain icon on the bottom left corner and then on the grass I adjusted the settings. I've also clicked on the icon that says Add Scatter Object. Here I selected these flowers and scattered a couple of them for the terrain. This gives some nice variation. For the Lumion terrain, I simply selected a built-in material that matches well the one I have on the imported terrain. Next, let's talk about house materials. I wanted something clean and modern for the house, so I downloaded the plastic material from Megascans. And for the roof, I used the sleek black material from Lumion's library. I also used wooden beams and dark concrete material for the deck to create a cohesive aesthetic. And for the glass, I only increased the roof activity property. Before moving to mass placement, in Lumion you can create layers to organize your project. And this will help you not only to keep organized, but also to hide the assets which are too heavy and allow you to work with no problems. I will call the first layer house, then on the second layer I will rename it to background trees and move all of these background tree planes there by simply selecting them and choosing the right layer. Now it's time to start adding some vegetation to the environment. I created a new layer called Lumion Trees and with the layer selected I start searching through the hundreds of assets ready to use. I will choose a couple of them and then go to this icon on the bottom called Mass Placement. I'll add them by clicking on this plus icon and then simply draw a line like this. It's best to play with the randomized properties to give better variation to your design. Even though you can define the number of items, when you increase the width of the mass placement line, you will see that you could use a higher number of assets. So I added more lines to better cover the background. Here you can define other type of vegetation assets as well. It is time to start turning this into a real pine forest. You will find a section called Fine Detail Trees. These assets are high quality, you can even see all the bark, little details and fine details on the leaves. This will work great to have in the foreground, close to the camera, where we can see those details. I selected these pines and scattered them throughout the scene. Then I selected all pine trees and click Randomize, Rotation and Scale. Again, variation is key in this environment. You will not find in the real world a plant or tree exactly the same. Since I live in Portugal, we do have a lot of eucalyptus, which is an invasive species here. But since Lumion has super high quality eucalyptus trees, I'll add two or three to the scene. I'm creating a scene from a lot of references images, but also my own experience of places have been. After adding Lumion native assets, it's time to bring the trees we just got from 3D Sky. After importing the FPX and adjusting the materials, I created another layer called Sylvester 01. Since they are quite heavy, I'll have them divided into different layers. I'll use again the mass placement and scatter a couple of them on the terrain. Add a second layer called Sylvester 02 and add different pine trees. Now select all these assets and randomize rotation and scale. But there is one important part we need to do individual on these assets to make it realistic. You see this photo? Many pine trees are inclined. So I did the same. I randomly select a couple of them and start rotating them to be inclined. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the rotation effect. As you can see, it adds a sense of realism and natural movement to the scene. 
these tall pine trees look great, but we need something a little shorter in the scene as well. So in a new layer, I'll add these trees. These ones I'm just going to add them manually by clicking a couple of times on the terrain. Let's go to photo mode and apply a preset from Lumion. I'll just add first the two-point perspective effect and find a better position for the sun that gives the mood I'm looking for. And in a matter of seconds we already have a nice looking image. But we are far from finished. Now it's the perfect time to start adjusting the composition. A great way to lead the viewer to an area of interest is by adding guidelines. I will do this with a stone walkway and some wood fence. I found this asset from Megascans, both from the Wild West and Castle Ruins environment, which fits great on my scene. And by the way, if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to import Megascans assets into Lumion, I'll leave a link in the description for you to watch. I'm using the same stones for the path, just rotating and scaling them makes them look like unique assets. For the wood fence, I added some inclination to them to give them a sense of age and as if they have been part of the environment for some time. This small detail can make a big difference in the overall look and feel of the project. Here's before and after of adding assets to guide the viewer's eye to the house, which is the main focal point of the scene. You can see how the additional assets such as trees, rocks and the pathway led the viewer gaze towards the house, making it the center of attraction. This technique of leading the viewer's eye helps to create a more dynamic and interesting scene and makes the house stand out even more. Even though the terrain already looks great with just two materials, soil and grass, we need more to make it look like a real forest. In the forest there's a lot of chaos, fallen leaves, branches, small rocks and weeds scattered everywhere. Adding these elements will create a more natural and realistic environment. I'll start by adding some tree stumps. This will help to tell a story and give more context to the scene. Maybe it was a tree that was too old that needed to be cut down, or maybe it was creating some problems in the house. Adding these details will make the scene more interesting and give it a sense of history. And it's not just about adding these elements, but also how we place them. You can place them in a way that suggests that they were cut down recently, or that they have been there for a while. This will make the scene more interesting and believable. I selected a couple of branches and using the paint placement tool, I added a couple of them on the terrain. I did the same for small rocks. Along these shadowed areas below the wood fence, you will probably find a lot of small weeds. There is a section dedicated to weeds, so I selected a couple of them and add them to the scene. In these stones, you will probably find some moss and weeds. Adding them here, it's also a great way to hide the stone repetition. Again, looking at my references, I see there are a lot of ferns on these images next to the pine trees. These ferns usually grow in areas that don't have much sunlight. I got these assets from Megascans, but Lumion has a great selection as well. Using the mask placement tool, I added a couple of them to the scene and randomize the rotation and scale. It's looking great, but I feel that it's missing high quality rock assets to scatter on the ground. So I got these models from Megascans, which I placed lower from the terrain, so we can just see a couple of the stones in the terrain. Do this a couple of times and you'll have a richer environment. To finish the design, I added these chairs from Lumion and this fire pit next to them. This makes it feel like someone is really living there, it gives the scene a sense of warmth and coziness, and it's a great way to invite the viewer to imagine themselves sitting in those chairs enjoying the beautiful forest. And to top it off, I added some fire particles to the fire pit to give that extra realism. This small detail can make a big difference in the overall look and feel of the project. As the cherry on top of it, you can add some birds, leaves particles, and some smoke to the cabin chimney. These small elements will bring the scene to life and make it feel like it's a real-life forest. The birds will add some movement to the scene, the leaf particles will give the impression of a light breeze and the smoke that someone is living in the cabin. These details will make the scene more believable and engaging and it will make the project stand out even more. Then I'll just adjust the settings from the rendering style, change the color of the fog to a dark green, adjust the light position and overall mood of the scene. and made the scene temperature warmer. I've also added the autumn colors effect, 
change to all layers and adjust the values so we have more variation on the greens. And that's it! This is how you create your next peaceful getaway using Lumion. Let me know in the comments what is your dream place you would like to create and don't forget to give a video a like and I'll see you in the next one.